Nilaba. This is the weekly highlight news of Radio NVG. I'm James. Here are the news highlights for this week. The acting president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Dua Lashila, attends the opening ceremony of the 16 days of the activism against gender based violence. The Union Minister for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government, Dosema Angle Franks, the editorial content of the Nikki Asia News Agency. 88.34% of the Spring Development Bank's shares are sold out and other interesting news. These are the weekly news details. The 16 days of the activism against gender-based violence is an annual international campaign that kicked off on 25th of November. The acting president of the National Unity Government, His Excellency Dua Lashila, attended the opening ceremony and stated that Violence against women and kids is a problem that affects the entire society and that everyone has a role to play. As a result, cooperation between different sata that is department is crucial when we acting to violence. Every year, a global campaign movement called 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence is conducted in a number of the UN member nations. Human rights advocates started pushing for the 16-day campaign, which will take place from 25th of November to 10 of December. The Union Minister for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government, Tosema Ankle, found on social media on the evening on 30th of November that the editorial content of the Nikki Asia News Agency is only a restatement of information that is usually in response to inquiries from ASEAN and the diplomatic community. She also stated that she did not use the fix. Pavele Kaufman is preparing for face-to-face -face dialogue with the military regime. In the news article and editorial of Nikki Asia News Agency, like works the phrase, we have already sent our ground rules for dialogue to the hunter, is only responding to the information that is usually unsolved when asked by ASEAN and the diplomatic community and it should be noted that no other communication has been established with the terrorist military council. As a result, the Union Minister stated that it is necessary to inform the public and revolutionary forces that the Nikki Asia News Agency new article, which is a mix of information and words, does not reflect her attitude or political positions. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government issued a press release stating that there was no meeting with anyone, including the representatives of the terrorist military group, at any time and place. Another leadership of the Indonesian government, the ASEAN Special Envoy Office, announced a statement on 25th of November regarding the Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs engagement with NIMA stakeholders. According to a statement released by the Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the ASEAN Special Envoy Office in Jakarta will interact with stakeholders from Myanmar from 20th of November to 22nd of November. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government stated that only private meetings and discussions are held with ASEAN in order to promptly understand the development of the Spring Revolution and the NUG positions given that the international community, including the United Nations, supports ASEAN interventions in Myanmar. The National Unity Government has expressed a strong belief that ASEAN, through the ASEAN Special Envoy Office, recognizes and appreciates the ongoing efforts to put the ASEAN five-point consensus into practice. While ASEAN call for dialogue, the NUG always gives the position, such as the eradication of the military dictatorship. Furthermore, no talks with the terrorist military coup can take place without the assurance that the Federal Democratic Union will be paid, not on based of the public opinion, but with the support of the alliance and the forces of the Spring Revolution, and without guarantees regarding the circumstances under which the transitional period will be fully implemented for justice. The Indonesian Ministry of Foreign Affairs statement about the possibility of the holding talks is only the decision of the ASEAN Special Envoy Office and has nothing to do with the National Unity Government. According to the statement released by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the National Unity Government, 
the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management of the National Unity Government made an announcement on 30th November, stating that following the 1027 operation, a total of 218.73 million chairs had been given to various regions as humanitarian aid to those escaping the fighting throughout Myanmar. With the 1027 operation, the People's Defense Forces and the forces of the ethnic alliance conducting outpost and urban warfare is a number of areas continuously taking control of the region. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management of the National Unity Government is supporting the humanitarian aid needs of the civilians fleeing the war in the conflict areas as far as possible and is providing support and assistance to the people fleeing the war from 13 states and regions, including those fleeing the war to the Missouri region. Following 1027 operation, 407,838 civilians were forced to flee the war, and the ministry provided a total of 218.73 million chairs in humanitarian aid to various regions from 27 October to 30 November. Spring Development Bank officially announced on 25 November that 88.34% of its shell had been sold. According to the STB Bank, the Seed Brown IXO share token sale has sold out to 88.34% due to the rich buyouts run of over the world. There is still more than $1.1 million available, so seeks the opportunity to become a bank shareholder. Furthermore, according to Spring Development Bank, the sale of share makes up to $9 million. US dollar. From the 17 to 25 of November, 8.30 p.m. in my time, the purchase of Spring Development Bank share from Honan Abroad reached $9 million. US dollar. The remaining share token can be used to open an account, connect with RMs, deposit money, and be proud to be bank shareholder and future millionaires. From 17 to 27 of November, 10% of Sprint Development Bank shares were sold, and when STB token is worth 0.001 US dollar with a minimum investment of 10 US dollar. These are the weekly highlight news of radio and UG. We will present more interesting weekly local news to you. Thanks for joining our news.